Oop. So even just as we just dip his low back down, his arms start to drop out. That's your STNR. He's a good ATNR. So now we're gonna start working on the brainstem mechanisms and things like that for that Moro and ATNR and see if we can't knock those out before you leave today, buddy. And Violet's nice because when you put over T1 here, research that shows that when you laser that for like 10 minutes it increases blood flow through his basilar arteries which is going to get to his cerebellum so just trying to get more energy to that cerebellum and we'll start to see a lot of those ATNR, STNR, Moro start to change as well. So when kids have retained ATNRs, STNRs a lot of times they simply just have a lot of restrictions in range of motion and on his, we did a neural zoomer, we found that he had dopamine receptor antibodies, dopamine 2, so that'll dysregulate our muscle tone. We'll have a lot of reflexive, just tight muscles. So as we start opening all that up, we'll start seeing those reflexes start getting inhibited just because he can move more efficiently. You see an STNR that's that strong, usually their hips are highly involved with like just lots of reflexive movements. You can get their hips, their low back, that'll usually take care of a lot of that STNR. Good, buddy. Well, almost there, last one. I know, you're doing so good. Oh, 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 let me turn. Heading down the right path. Good job, buddy. So that, that just tells us, like simply put, is that we're hitting the right systems. Now we just need a lot more of it, and that's how we'll inhibit those so quickly. Just takes frequency, consistency. We'll just keep opening up his <clears throat> movement keep lasering his cerebellum to get more energy there, open up his movement a little bit more, and we'll see those just completely drop out here over the next couple days. You're doing so good, Kai. Good. So good, buddy. Yeah.